Hey y'all, I'm Mickey Gousset. Now last week was Microsoft Build with a lot of announcements from Microsoft and GitHub. Now in this video, I want to focus on one particular piece of information that was released. Why migrate from Azure repos to GitHub when you're already using Azure DevOps? Let's talk a little bit about some of the new guidance that has just been released. And yes, it has to do with GitHub Copilot and AI. I've got some links to resources in the description below. Now, I'm not trying to come off as markety here, I promise. Y'all know I like GitHub. What you might not know is that before joining GitHub, I have a long history with Azure DevOps, going all the way back to 2005 when Team Foundation Server, which was the precursor to Azure DevOps, was released. I've written books on it. So I have a lot of love for both products, but we're at an inflection point in my opinion. So making this a great time to consider moving at least your Azure repositories to GitHub. Now, GitHub Copilot has evolved from a code completion tool into a full agentic teammate. With your code in GitHub, you can now do things like automatically fix bugs and pull requests, implement new features using an issue description, respond to code review feedback autonomously, create entire pull requests with context aware suggestions. Now, while basic Copilot features work with Azure repos, you need GitHub repositories to unlock these advanced agentic capabilities that are transforming software development. And let me be clear. I'm saying you only have to move your repositories. If you want to continue using Azure boards and Azure pipelines, you can. And in fact, the experience there has gotten even better. Microsoft and GitHub have removed a lot of the major barriers to migration of repositories. We've got enterprise grade tooling now. The GitHub Enterprise Importer tool, which is free, has been used to migrate hundreds of thousands of repositories, including full history branches and metadata, including pull request and pull request history. We've got GitHub Enterprise Cloud with data residency now. So this is now available in Europe, Australia, and in the United States with more areas on the way. We've got improved integration with Azure boards and Azure pipelines. So Microsoft has been shipping continuous improvements to the apps that you use to integrate Azure boards and Azure pipelines with GitHub repositories to the point where the experience of using boards and pipelines with GitHub is now comparable to the experience that Azure repository customers are used to. Oh, yeah, one more thing, probably the most important thing, cost efficiency. Azure DevOps basic access is now included with your GitHub Enterprise license. So you can move your repositories to GitHub and continue to use boards and pipelines without having to pay for both products. So the message I take from all of this, GitHub Copilot's new agentic capabilities are transforming the software development lifecycle, let's face it. And to benefit fully from these new features, Azure DevOps customers need to consider migrating their repositories to GitHub while continuing to use other capabilities in Azure DevOps, such as boards and pipelines. And we've built deep connections between the two products to make this feel like one connected ecosystem. And that's what's important. GitHub is now the innovation center for AI powered development, while Azure DevOps can focus on its core project management strengths. And this symbiotic relationship means you get the best of both worlds when you integrate these products. Now, I'm not saying don't move everything to GitHub. If you want to do that, go for it, would love it. But for most customers I've talked with, going with a more layered hybrid approach works better. Move the repositories, keep the pipelines and the boards where they are, and then when you're ready, you can move your pipelines and possibly your boards, right? Whenever you're ready. But during that time, you also get to take advantage of all the AI goodness that GitHub has to offer. Okay, now, I know I need to get some updated videos out on how to connect Azure pipelines and Azure boards to GitHub. I'll work on getting that out to you soon, as well as some videos on using the GitHub Enterprise Importer to migrate from Azure repositories to GitHub. I can't believe I haven't done that yet. I'm shocked. But I implore you, don't sleep on this. 
AI stuff is going to continue to evolve and you don't want to get left behind. So let me know what you think of this video and let me know what kind of content you would like to see that will help support you on your journey to using GitHub and Azure DevOps better together. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to the channel so that I can get out in front of more people. I just hit 3,500 subscribers, which is freaking amazing. I was so excited about that. My goal is to have 5,000 subscribers by the end of the summer, and I'm going to be honest, I'm going to need some help to hit that goal. So please like and subscribe and share the channel. Thanks for watching.